can earn around 60 to 120,000 rand a month. It's time to expand your knowledge, expand your skills and start learning Python. Now listen guys, I'm really tired. I've been waking up around 4.30, 5.30, 6.00 latest and studying. <laughs> Who knew learning would be so fun? Really, um, yeah, I, for the past two weeks I've been pushing and uh, it's really fun. If I repeat myself, it's because I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go. <laughs> My name is Austin, aka Mr. Turner, and welcome back to another video. All right, that's much better. I realized I was really tired, so I took a bath, took a nap, and now I'm feeling refreshed. Let's talk about Python and the reasons why I suggest that you start learning it right now. Even though it's been two weeks of studying Python and I'm a complete beginner and <laughs> just have written my first hello world and a couple of other functions, I'm starting to realize and understand the potential of how this skill could propel you forward and earning a huge income. If you have a look, on any of the career or job platforms websites there is a lot of job opportunities and the number one skill required is python okay now these jobs they pay really well a junior programmer can earn around 17 to 30 thousand rand depending on how many projects you've performed experience etc we'll talk about experience and projects a little later in this video for now i want to focus on the reasons why you should learn python now we are entrepreneurs everyone on this channel we're looking to make money the issue is some of us want to use these survey apps or these money-making apps where you spend around an hour or two just filling in surveys and at the end of that you're going to get 50 to 100 rand and is it really worth it no it's not worth it because that is time eaten up and what have you learned from that I believe moving forward time is very valuable you only have a certain amount of time within the day now if you can utilize that time to grow a skill to learn something new that's going to benefit you in the future you should take that opportunity not who wasted on apps that are just going to eat your time for your data 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 science data scientist how the way do you say it well I really, I really, how the way do you say it? I really am really tired. The reason for this video is not to, only to inspire you to start learning programming, and we'll get into that in a second. But if programming is not for you, and you haven't given it a try, give it a try. Now, if you've given it a try, it still isn't for you, and it's very difficult to grasp, then I understand. But I want you to be inspired to start learning a skill which can propel you forward what i suggest you do is have a look at careers 24 all these job websites and have a look at certain fields that spark an interest then look at the requirements yes <laughs> i know some of the requirements are experience years of experience and that's why we have to become self-employed that's why we have to be entrepreneurs the great part about learning python is experience can be projects now what i mean by that is after learning python with this course in the link down below which i'm following as well it's only 150 rand and the promo ends on the 15th so you have a limited time usually it's two grand but have a look in the link down below getting back to python projects great part about this is you can create your own projects and use that as experience to show the workforce that you do understand programming. The, the thing that the workforce doesn't want to see is that you haven't put in the time to really grasp and understand coding. Yes, it's difficult to find jobs nowadays, but if you have the right skills and the right projects, which we'll be working on, hopefully on this channel, if not, there are tons. I do not want to hold you back. There's boot camp code. I'll leave all the descriptions. I'll leave all the links in the description down below to help you get started. Do not wait for me to produce uh, Python tutorials or anything like that because there's a ton, ton, ton. And as I said, there's a course in the link down below, 54 hour course to get started with Python. And there's code bootcamp there's unlimited resources github all of these will be in the links down below right 
This is the last part of the video and I want you to fully expand on this topic of Python because Python is the starting point for other programs. Yes, if you learn Python, you'll get some job opportunities, but it is important to expand in the field of programming and really get a full grasp of the other tools out there at your disposal. I'm gonna list a few in no particular order, but I want you to go and have a look and research how much potential there is for earning an income per month. Side note, the reason why I'm saying have a look at the potential opportunities for work or for home freelancing or whatever within the programming field is that can be used to fund your e-commerce store to fund your YouTube channel to fund other things it is important to use that skill that can earn you an income per month to fund other things because it can be really really tough out here in the entrepreneurial field we'll get more to that in other videos to come on how difficult it can be to be an entrepreneur you have to have a fantastic strong mindset to not break all right, let's get into that important list. I'm just going to, in no particular order, list a couple of tools that you should start learning along with Python or after Python, whatever suits you, do not rush yourself. Have a look at TensorFlow, which is related to artificial intelligence. If you wanna have a look at more data science stuff, look at Program R, and there is definitely some other tools out there that you can have a look at. But get familiar with what is needed or required for data science. You can earn around 60 to 120,000 Rand a month. Mind you, you do need to understand concepts, projects, and modules. This will take some time to study and grasp. Some of you might understand it straight away, get a nice job, get that income. But moving forward from artificial intelligence, search up this word, big data, and have a look at a pattern spark these things here are definitely high end level to grasp but if you can understand it and get started with a couple of projects you're in it now moving forward from that on the beginner level where I am I'm having a look at Python and flutter flutter is a great I D E I'm still learning so I need to <laughs> brush up on some of the concepts but basically Flutter is a way for you to put in your code which you'll have to learn darts along with that to create apps that can play on iPhone and Android now that's that's something else that's actually really really interesting because that means you don't have to code for ISO separately and you don't have to code for Android separately no what dart does is you punch in the the code and it will natively is that correct, correct word i'm still learning turn that code into iso and android capability which is amazing so the the tools that i listed have a look at there are definitely definitely a lot of tools out there available to you we're just gonna go over three main fields right now python for us beginners right now learn big data data science have a look at the requirements needed to further in that you will need to know a little bit of algebra and mathematics so yeah touch up on that guys none of this is hard if you start studying and learn in your own way you won't feel the pressure of exams and stuff in fact it's really empowering to understand certain aspects that you thought that you never understand go ahead start reading grow your knowledge and then finally have a look at artificial intelligence tensorflow some of these big worded things are just big words at the end of the day if you really get to see the definition of artificial intelligence or any of these big things they're not that big they're not that hard just start okay that's been one of my biggest things here on this channel guys just start now if you don't want to do python which is definitely a great opportunity to start having a look at and you don't want to do programming or any of that start learning a skill that's going to benefit you increase your value the more you increase your value the more you have to get out there i hope this video inspired you to pick up a skill that will provide you with value to leverage yourself in the job world or working from home so that you could use that money to fund your hustles i know i know i know that a lot of us are on that hustle road towards success and i'm not saying give up on that dream i never said give up on that dream and i'm not saying you need to be in a nine to five 
fire forever. In fact, I have a lot of videos coming for you guys to explain how you can leverage your skill to fund other things. Sometimes there are situations that pop up that you have to take care of. So learn a skill and provide value. If this video was useful to you in your mission forward, then give me a thumbs up because I'm, I'm hella tired, guys. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> I'm having fun though. I'm definitely having fun. But I really, really appreciate your support and thank you so much. Could we get like seven likes? Just seven feeling seven that's a lucky number thank you so much for everything that you do for this channel and don't worry i will get a stabilizer for my next video just don't know where it is at the moment so thank you so much for all that you do and remember to stay shining keep smiling even on a rainy day cheers